Hello everyone, my name is DJ and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler, where of course every day is a train show. You're either watching this video for one of two reasons. One, you're homesick with the stomach flu, YouTubing random stuff, or you're interested in model trains. We hope it's the latter because we got a whole bunch of things that will hopefully find their way on your layout. And we're going to get started in end scale land. We're going to take a look at these items from Micro Trains. Check out these puppies here. I know you're going to love them. So I have here a weather two pack of Chessy cover hoppers here and these are awesome looking cars here and the detailing with the weather of these cars is fantastic now if you take a look i have a couple of weathered cars here of course i have a weather condola there with a bunch of ties in it it's a really neat looking load and then of course i have another chassis open hopper there that looks fantastic i got two box cars here one of course is of the ttx and another one is a really cool looking one here this is for the montana rail link that is for their 35th anniversary and it shows the route there the montana rail link that is just a really cool looking car here and especially if you're a fan of the montana rail link and i know you're out there i think that's definitely a car you need on your collection and then finally i have these l m box cars here weathered and the doors do open i actually opened the bottom one there so you can see what it looks like and these are just great looking cars here and if you are an n scaler especially if you are an n scaler that likes to weather your stuff i think micro chains cannot be top there now the individual cars uh the chessie and the conrail range around 23 to 25 dollars the TTX box car is $35.99, and the Montana Rail Lake, believe it or not, that one is $23. So that is a great deal to get on a car, especially commemorative car for the Montana Rail Lake. Now the two two packs here, the Chessies are $55.92, and the box cars are $47.99. Great deal to get on some awesome looking cars here, and these cars do have some weight here. I really enjoyed this TTX car. I know a lot of people love the TTX here, and I love the detailing there, especially for a N-scale car. This looks fantastic. So I think you definitely need this on your railroad today, especially for an N-scaler. And believe it or not, one of the neat things here, because I know a lot of you out there like celebrities, okay? And so we figured, you know, a lot of these celebrities probably are involved in model trains away. So I asked a bunch of different celebrities questions involving model trains, and I'm gonna share with you their answers, okay? So one of the questions I asked was, what is your favorite type of boxcar? See the connection there, all right? So Harrison Ford said a 40-foot boxcar. Tommy Lee Jones said a high box boxcar. Uh, Kevin James said one filled with cake. So uh, that's something. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get these on your railroad today. Speaking of boxcars, we got to take a look at some HO boxcars that I think you're really going to enjoy. All aboard. Look at these box cars from Bowser. I really enjoy these. Very colorful. Well, you know me, Engineer Hall. I like a lot of colors on my railroad. All right, so these are 40 foot box cars from Bowser, and we're going to take a look at them individually. Let's start over here with the Burlington route, and that is a great look. Actually, some of these cars are some of my favorite designs of box cars here. We have the Boston and Maine right here. That is a great look here. This is probably my favorite one, the Western Pacific. That car just bounces off the track. That This looks great. We got the Chicago and Great Western. We got the Delaware and Hudson. We have another Delaware and Hudson here with the blue coal, clean, safe, low cost heat. Then we got a couple of double door ones here. We got the Duluth, Winnipeg, and Pacific. And finally, the Great Northern here. Now, these are just awesome looking box cars. And if you're looking for a box car to go on your layout, especially if you're an aid shower, everybody needs box cars. And these are just some really great looking cars here and they do have a pretty good amount of weight to them too now the retail price for these cars are 28.95 but we're selling them at yankee devil here for 22.99 okay that is a great deal to get on these cars and especially you can't just have one box car you need a whole bunch of them and as engineer hall said there's a lot of color happening on this consist right here so if you're looking for something that is going to fill that roster of years, I think these are great cars to go with here. They look fantastic. They roll great. Definitely need them on your layout today, all right? 
And speaking of layouts, you know, believe it or not, a lot of our celebrities actually were interested in getting into model railroading. So I asked three celebrities why they didn't get into model railroading. Check this out. So Jay Leno said he wanted to focus on automobiles. Tim Allen said he wanted to focus on tools. Danny DeVito said he couldn't do it because they're too tall for him. So, you know, that's that's something. So, anyway, get these boxcars on your layout today. What's that? You want more boxcars? All right, well, here you go. Here's another train with some more boxcars coming your way. check out these cars here from Athern. I have three different cars here, but these are three really cool looking cars here. These are actually three of my favorite designs of these cars here. We have the Rutland. We have the Great Northern. Believe it or not, I actually just got that car. And I have the Boston and Maine right there. Those are three great looking paint schemes for these cars here. And these have a lot of weight that happens to them too. So I know a lot of people worry about weight on their trains, making sure that they're not coming off the track. These guys are not going to have that problem, I assure you. These are just really cool looking cars here. And again, if you're looking to get box cars, we got to get covered here. Now, the Athern box cars sell for $34.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $27.99. Once again, it's a great deal to get on a car uh, on your box car. We all need box cars on our rails, so make sure that you get those cars rolling on your rails today. Because once again, as I always say, I know you're gonna love it. All right, so time for another celebrity question. I said so. One thing that I worry about involving my model trains. Uh, Neil Young says he's worried about buying too many. Uh, Rod Stewart says he's worried he's accidentally gonna break them. Uh, Gary Busey says he's worried that his diesels will come to life and try to eat them just like his toaster did. That's kind of scary. Well, anyway, let's take a look at some more cars so hopefully we'll find a way on your layout. All aboard. And these are 48 foot Husky stacks from Athern. And these are really cool looking cars here. I love the way that these things look here. Now these cars here come with the load here. And I got a couple of different versions here. This is the B, I'm sorry, the GBRX. Then of course I got the TTX, the DTTX. And then I have the BNSF. Now the detailing on these cars is great. And of course the loads do come out there. So you can take a look at what that looks like without that in there. So you can run these with the containers in there or without. Of course you could stack them if you so uh, feel so uh, like you want to. And we've taken a look at a whole bunch of different containers on our show here. These are just really great looking cars here. And I have multiple different road numbers too. So if you want to get a nice long unit train of these cars here, check them out at Yankee Devil on the website and get those hopefully on your... Uh, uh, on your layout pretty soon okay now these cars retail for $54.99 but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $43.99 it's an awesome deal once again to get on these cars here you go so that engineer hall discount in there get save a little uh, money on your uh, purchase there but I think these are great looking cars here and a lot of people like that model what they say well nothing says current like a 48 foot husky sacks so come to Yankee Dabbler and get these today all right so that's enough rolling stock we're gonna take a look at but let's take a look at some motive power here and I have a really cool locomotive from Broadway limited this is an SD9 of well more than a nickel plate so here's a nickel plate SD9 here and this is a really cool looking engine here I love the design of the nickel plate road there and the neat thing about this locomotive is I actually have three different row numbers so if you're interested in running these in pairs of two or three you could do that now this is a paragon three locomotive here so it's uh kind of one that we just have uh in stock here it's not a brand new release but i think it's a really neat engine that you can see uh it looks great it sounds great and the neat thing about this is the price is really good too because this engine retails for 329.99 but we're selling it here in yankee dabbler for 232.99 it's an awesome deal to get on a broadway uh limited piece here and we're gonna see what this sounds like because i think the sounds are really gonna sell it Alright, so it's already idling, so let's take a look at some of the features on this SD9. Of course, here is the horn. Ooh. I like that. Here's the bell. 
That's a neat sounding bell. I love that different bell. And of course, you know, Bravo Unlimited has a whole bunch of different announcer features and whatnot here. Here's a couple of examples. There's just a lot of really neat features that are happening on this locomotive here. We're going to take it out, so all born. Looks like a tank change to home. Let's pull a train, shall we? Alright, all aboard. Arriving, train number 345, a ton of box guys. Now, again, the neat thing about this locomotive is I actually have three different row names, so I can uh, pair these up or I can get a triple header happening with this locomotive and it really sounds great. Now the retail value again for this engine is $329.99. We're selling it for three, I'm sorry, $232.99. Coming to Yankee Dab, we'll get this engine rolling on your rails today. I think it's gotta be a winner. All right, so I asked our celebrities another question. I said, what is your favorite decoder, okay? Uh, John Goodman said ESU. Uh, Denzel Washington said TCS. Uh, George W. Bush said the one I found in the Cracker Jack box. So, yeah. Hey, if you're looking for yet more diesels to come up on your layout, well, look no further than these ES44s from Broadway Limited. And as you saw, I kind of uh, teased you a little bit throughout the video here. I had a couple of those engines pulling those trains. But I have a couple of heritage engines there. Of course, I got the Pennsylvania. I got the Southern. That is a great looking look there. Uh, now, I have a couple of the special locomotives that they did, including the 1776, the Honoring Our Veterans for the Armed Forces. I have the CSX Honoring Our First Responders diesel locomotive here. And, of course, I have the Law Enforcement. So those are just really great looking engines. The amount of detail that goes into these things is awesome. I don't know, Engineer Hall, if you could take a look at the windows here. But as you can see, they have various different paint schemes in here. The first, uh, first responders has a really neat red, white, and blue look happening in there as well. And, of course, the veterans has the American flag happening there. I mean, those are just really great looking diesel locomotives. And I love the look on those heritage engines. But if you're someone that likes to demonstrate what these engines were supposed to look like out of the factory, the demonstrator version to sell these engines to the rear end, we'll take a look at the demonstrator version that I have here from General Electric. And that is just a great looking engine. If you want to model the first one on the ES44 series, 
that is the way for you to go there and it has a really cool looking engine there i love the evolution series now you might be thinking well those are really great looking uh diesel locomotives but maybe i'm looking for a different row name well i can tell you what i got you covered let's go on a field trip the neat thing about the series is I have a whole bunch of different varieties here. I have a bunch more for you to check out. So if you take a look up here, we have the Greyhound version of the Union Pacific. We have here the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. We have here a Kansas City Southern Seaboard uh, commemorative locomotive here. We have the Great Northern. I really like that look there. We got a Santa Fe locomotive. I don't know what this one is. Do you know Engineer Hall? Nah. Nah. Oh, no. Yeah, no. Uh, we have here the Canadian National looking engine here. And finally, we have the Union Pacific. And these are just awesome looking diesel locomotives here. So, variety is the spice of life. So, if you're interested in one, two, or 15 of these locomotives, we have them here at Yankee Dabbler. They sound great. And we already took a look at some of them, but we're going to run them anyway because it's my excuse to play with toys. So, all aboard. All right, so we're going to take a look at the um, honoring our Armed Forces engine here. These engines have Paragon 4 sound, and it also smokes. It's a great-looking engine here. Let's take a listen to that horn, shall we? We got the bell. Love those dish lights, all right? Let's go forward. American flag design on the back as well as the POW flag. Things are smoking pretty good. We we'll see the smoker. She really needs to quit. <laughs> That's a great sound of diesel locomotive, but I think we need to put one or two of these on the tracks with my consist and see what it really looks like in action. Let's go. All aboard! Now arriving on track number one, a whole bunch of stuff. So those are great look at diesel locomotives. As I said, I have a whole bunch of different uh, paint schemes for you to choose from. Now, these engines retail, let me get it correct there, for $374.99. But we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $299.99. It's an awesome deal to get on these locomotives. And especially if there's a couple of different ones that you like there, it definitely is giving you the, uh, the option to do that from the price perspective. So come in Yankee Dabbler, get these engines rolling on your layout today i think they're going to be definitely one of your favorites on your roster so our final celebrity questionnaire that i filled out i asked three celebrities what their favorite train movie was all right so russell crowe actually said unstoppable it's a good one uh kelly Ripa said it happened to jane or leader by the goody uh nicholas cage wrote my latest film i just finished caboose attack four this time it's personal so be on the lookout for that one, I guess.
So if any of these items struck your interest, hopefully they'll find a good way once again on your land. You can find them all at yankeedabber.com. Of course, we had here these ES44s. These are fantastic looking engines here from Broadway Limited. We also had that SD9 here, which was another great looking locomotive. As I mentioned before, I do have different numbers. We have all these end scale cars from Microtrains, and they do a phenomenal job, especially in the weather ring department here. And I got a couple of two packs there for your consideration. Then I have these Husky packs and a whole, I'm sorry, Husky stacks and a whole bunch of boxcars. Boxcar, you get a boxcar and you get a boxcar and you get a boxcar. There's a whole bunch of boxcars in there. But if none of that stuff found your interest, well, don't worry. We always have stuff on our website. So go on to yankeedowboy.com. I hopefully find some items that will be on your layout today. We want to send out your... Annual reminder to make sure that you have a big boy at home. Everyone needs a big boy. We talked about these not too long ago. Hopefully you found one that you like and we'll be pulling trains like a layout today. And you know what? You just treat yourself because we got some holidays coming up according to Google. Uh, August we have a bunch of holidays uh, including National Watermelon Day, National S'mores Day, I think people just want an excuse to eat. National Stuffed Peppers Day. Hey. Ooh, National Marshmallow Toasting Day. Wow. We got a lot of days. So, you know, you got to celebrate that with a big boy. So that's what I would do. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and get caught up on all the newest things and all the greatest things that are happening. As a matter of fact, Engineer Hall has added another dance to the Choo Choo Slide. This is called the Diesel Wrap. All right, so he's got to get his, uh, you know, his rap skills on. So enjoy that. It's all, it's literally 45 minutes talking about Norfolk Southern or rapping about it. So enjoy that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Well, if you excuse me, you know what? National Stuff Pepper Day, National uh, Marshmallow. I'm just going to celebrate them all right now with my big boy. So i got to go do that. Uh, enjoy our rail fan video. We're going to go to the Cuyahoga Valley and take a look at that 765 going down the tracks. All right? So take care, everyone. Come on, Christian. We're going to go marshmallow and uh, get green peppers. Hooray!